Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Retro and Rare Vlog Series, Episode 1. Kobe. Oh. You got it? We don't even need to do another one. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, we got Are it. Are we fucking rolling? You know what this is? Just got it today, motherfuckers. Unboxing time. Got it early, before anybody. Paid the price for it, but... Careful how you open these things, ladies and gentlemen. You may fuck the box. Alright. It's obviously a figure of some sort. Let's see. Got him. This is dope, man. So this is that variant Build-A-Figure, but it's all together. It actually doesn't come out till March. The end of March, if I'm not mistaken. Some dude on eBay, I guess he got it direct. I don't even know how he got it. I only paid $6 over retail. And got it a month early, so I'm excited about this. So I guess, is this the first scene of the vlog? We're just yeah, doing an unboxing? It? Great. So we're at my fucking house today, guys, and we're just doing random shit. We're filming random shit. You guys can see what a pack rat weirdo I am. Uh, check out all the clothes on the fucking floor. Why don't we start there? Went a little ham on the thrifting situation. Got a bunch of shit here. All of which is for sale. The more I hold on to it, though, the more I want to keep this shit. The Marlboro bag is fire. Love that. A6, got some Babe shit, got some Fly Emirates shit. Of course, got some Wu-Tang shit, Jimi Hendrix. I got a bunch of fire ass tees in here, bro. There's like some... Yo, your Whoa. boy Trinidad James wanted to buy that one. Yeah, I know. I know. Trinidad. Trinidad, man. What's up, man? Why you lowballing your boy, bro? I know you got money. Come on. You rolling? Yeah, yeah, I got come you. Come on, come in. Come on. All right, go Let's in. Let's go. Go in first. The fucking office, man. I want to show the people the office. What do you got here? Uh, we're going to be selling these. This is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you overdo it and you just uh, uh, buy shit and then you end up with a bunch of figures that you really don't fucking need. I like some of them. The, oh, the Expressions Pack Joker. Metal Gear, I don't know. See, the problem is I'm conflicted. But the uh, office turned out pretty good. Look, we got... Yo, you know, how are you selling Metal Gear? I don't know if I'm really going to sell it. I mean, this is the problem, right? I get up to the ledge. I don't ever jump. But you can show a couple things. I think the office uh, turned out pretty good. Doyle was nice enough to donate his tripod. Oh, there we go. I got my old ass camera here, but it works. It's Doyle's mic where you hear his famous words of wisdom. That's mine. Yeah, fuck you. Get some of my Air Forces. I mean, my Air Max. Air Max 95. Great silhouette. So you gotta be... What I did was I took... I took... That was in my bathroom for the longest time. That fucking white stand. I got some shit. Let me see some. Hold up. Get up. Wait with it. Oh, what do we got in there? What? Got some More giveaway going on? That's it? Yeah, we're going to be giving away some Sega Genesis Classic consoles or Sega Genesis Mini. So keep a lookout for that. With the New Balance? We're not giving away the New Balance. Ah. Uh. Some other kicks for the shoe heads. Nothing crazy. I'm not... When it comes to sneakers, man... A lot of you motherfuckers are absolutely out of your mind. I just buy what I like. I got some nice pairs. I got some key pairs. We'll look at those later. You know, this is just the office. This was a guest bedroom. I don't have many guests. I don't aspire to have many guests, so I turned it into, if you turn around, Doyle, and you look at that behind you, a little bit of fuckery. The hell is all this? Those are turtles, man. Some of my favorite little turtles. Of course, got to have my cars. Basically, everything I do is representative of me, man. As you can see with the Carnage hat. Recent acquisition. I love this thing. I had it as a kid. Carnage, my favorite Marvel character. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a tube television running cable. My cable company, which comes with my homeowners association, is pissed off at me because I had to request a special piece to even get this to work because it's not supposed to work. Yeah, that's the RCA. I or, told uh... them, hey, listen, motherfuckers. I'm old school. I need my shit. Marvel vs. Uh, I always say Marvel vs. Marvel Superheroes Cabinet by Arcade One Up. Shout out to the good people over at Arcade One Up. This is the limited one with the Sanwa buttons and limited to 8,000 pieces. Pretty nice. I, I really like this. Should we show them the purple tape jersey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. bring them out. Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> this is infamous on my page, and this is. I know. I, I preface this by saying a billion people have heard this story, but for the people that have never heard this story, this is a. 
champion jersey to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Only Built for Cuban Links, Raekwon's first album. Shout out to Chef Raekwon, good friend of mine. Through the grace of God, that is a good friend of mine. And uh, Raekwon gave me this jersey and told me there's only 10 in the world and he has the other nine. No bullshit, no nothing. He told me that verbatim. And then we hung out and smoked a bunch of weed with him. Remember that, though? That was disciples. Dope. Shout out to the chef, man. Shout out to old Wu-Tang Clan, because you know what it is. It's for the children. So anyway, where should we go next? We should go to the game room? Yeah. All right, go. come on. Check it out. Come on. Let's go. Game room. Let me turn the light on a little bit. Extra lighting. Phillips Hue lights. Yeah, a little bit. We got a lot of Phillips Hue lighting. And then those are the Raekwon shoes. Yeah, how much electricity do you do? Solar power, baby. <laughs> Run by the sun, kid. No big deal. Yo, where's the other Raekwon shit? What do you mean? The one that uh, Ghostface Killers. Oh, the figure? Oh, it's over in a different spot. That is a really dope, limited to a few hundred pieces, Ghostface Killer. I believe the gentleman's name is Sicario, something like that. I'll have to look that up. But these are, this case though, I mean, this, the way this whole setup came about, man, a lot of the shit that you'll see in here is just me fiddling with shit and things kind of end up, obviously I'm OCD as fuck. It's all about symmetry. A lot of people have seen a lot of this um, when I go live and I show the game room, but we figured we're chilling at home today. We'll do a little home vlog. Well, I got director's cut. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we got you behind the camera. It's kind of dangerous. Put that on, boom. Oh, 420? Yeah, it's always on 420. Got a couple more pairs over here, some J's, some 12's. Rockefeller Air Force Ones. I like these. Rockefeller joints. Oh. And yes, I'm a pussy, I don't wear my sneakers. A lot of them I don't wear. A lot of them I don't wear. I have a lot of pairs I wear, but eh, someone's collectible, the ones behind you. The Venom. Carnage, actually, but there's also a Venom one, but those are the Carnage edition. Made by Puma, teamed up with Bait. Carnage being my favorite Marvel character. I would say Carnage is my favorite comic book character of all time. For real? Yeah, because he's a sick fuck. I relate. Yeah. You got the graded. Yup, white pages, what's up? 9.6. Triple cover. You don't know about the triple cover. It's not a triple cover. I want to change up this wall. It's going to change soon. There's something that's bothering me about it. It looks a little janky. I don't like the jank. Um, what else we got? Oh, shout out uh, Sean. Got the Sean's crispy. Feel like it's a nice motif. It looks nice up there. The aesthetic is clean. When it comes to collecting, man, it's just about doing what you like. It's about collecting what you like. What you feel like expresses this is just a, a a visual representation of how i feel inside about my childhood about nostalgia about the 90s about a certain era in hip-hop as we go to this wall some of my influences in hip-hop i try to represent the west coast i'm i'm from the east i'm from long island i try to rep the west coast as much as possible just to be you know all encompassing az do or die on the wall what up these albums they haven't switched in a while, but I have a bunch of albums that are framed that switch. Occasionally we switch it up. We might actually put this up there soon. Oh. Illmatic Live. This is dope. I mean, Illmatic is the greatest hip-hop album of all time, if you didn't know that. If you, if you need me to reiterate, Illmatic is the greatest hip-hop album of all time. Now, what should we do next? Gameplay? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yo, we rolling or what? Yeah, we rolling. We got it. So I play Gran Turismo the most out of anything in here. Everyone always asks me what I play the most. It's fucking Gran Turismo, bro. There's nothing like having a driving setup and just fucking chilling, doing some laps. Especially Gran Turismo Online, man. The online community is the illest. We just make up random shit to do. We do cop chases, fucking... I love it. I'm a car guy, so I love this shit. Logitech G29. Dope ass wheel. And it does VR too. I don't always race in VR. I gotta do this. Oh, what the fuck? 
What a scumbag. I don't know where everyone went. That's the problem. No idea where everyone went. Something's wrong with the car. <laughs> he got fucked up. Yeah, something's wrong with the car. Look at this fucking guy. Son. The Integra is no match for the Italian engineering of the Pugan. So what else? What else we got in here? We want to talk about all oh, Samsung GX TV. Wonderful fucking monitor. If you have old school systems, highly recommended. It came out in what the mid '90s, made by Samsung. It's got like 25 watts of speakers, dedicated sub in the back. It folds, closes up. Bong, son. Yeah. I don't ever leave it like that though, but you could do that. Just leave it open. The quality is amazing. We're running a Metal Slug via Neo Geo X. Dope. And I got two more uh, arcade one up cabinets here, which are pretty fire. Got the Mortal Kombat 2 and the Street Fighter. This is when they first started making the cabinets. The quality of the buttons and sticks are nowhere near like. Uh, they did improve on here. But the Sanwa buttons on the um, Marvel is the best. Then we got the OLED. So on a more modern side of things, LG OLED, 55 curve, 240 hertz, 3D. Amazing. I love this TV. The black levels are perfection. Running some um, Resident Evil 5. PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, Yamaha receiver, some EQ shit going on there. Towards the bottom here though, what's up? Quamba Dragon, the Quamba Dragon, one of the best fight sticks money can buy, I love that thing bro, uh, then as we go up here, boom, Sony 50 inch, that's where we're running Gran Turismo on, we were just playing, Sega uh, classic console that I have tucked away, just for convenient use, and then we got, uh, what do we got here, Asus gaming computer, I've had that beast for a long time. Bet you had graphics cards outdated as fuck, but it still runs all my games 60 frames. MacBook Pro. Oh, there's a podcast setup. That's the podcast setup. Look, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Retro Not. But this is what's funny about the podcast setup is this is something that people like commended us for making a cool studio. It's like, bro, I just took my chair and put it in the corner and put a table in front of it. And we got the podcast set up. So I love it, man. It looks great. Got my uh, Techniques turntable. Now I can zoom in though. Yeah, you can touch the camera this time. Every other time though, you're dead. Playing some lo-fi hip hop. I always keep beats on in the background. I do that every single day. Got the uh, PlayStation, the mini PlayStation. It was called the PS1, whatever the fuck it was called. And then I uh, got the screen with it. Gotta have that screen. T800. What you know about the T800, bro? Got the arm, Terminator. And there's Ghostface. You were asking where Ghostface went? That's where he went. Oh, there he is. Ghostface killer, son. Solid Dreamcast. Got my clip speakers up top. Then we're back to more of the audio shit. The futon with the Wu-Tang blanket that somebody sent me. I still don't know who sent it to me. Pretty dope. And then on the table here, just have your necessities, like a giant fight stick sitting on top of a Zelda chess set. You gotta have that. I mean, why would you not have that? Bunch of other handhelds here, the Vita PSP, Neo Geo, Game Gear. And then underneath, we got the fucking Goliath under there. That's the um, Steel Battalion, which is ridiculous. Giant fucking arcade stick. Thing is ridiculous. It only works with Steel Battalion. Uh, recently I changed up some shit. Everyone always asks about this rack here. This rack is just from a retail store uh, that is going to be remain nameless, I shall say. But I put up a juggernaut up there. Once again, Philips Hue lighting is the key to life. Got a bloom light. The, the fucking vibe it sets off is amazing. Uh, 
Uh, fairly recently I decided to put my games up top like this. This was kind of a hole in the wall before that I hated. So I decided to throw my loose games up there. Looks way better and then all the way down to underneath here. They just, you know, it's all about being innovative with the way you stack your shit. I'm not one for the shelves. I'm not a shelf guy. I don't want just a giant bookshelf case with a bunch of games lined up. They're not accessible. They don't display well. You know, I always say, the setup is as important as what you're setting up. So, you got this giant fucking Panasonic uh, tube TV that my neighbors graciously gave me about seven, eight years ago. They were going to throw it out. It's in mint condition. It's the uh, triple play model too, which is cool because it means it's got DVD, VHS, and you would say, yeah, TV. No, AM, FM, radio, motherfuckers. Followed by the Philips CD. Now underneath here we have some cool shit going on. N64, Sega CDX, which is wonderful. But more importantly, get a close-up of this right here, Doyle. Panasonic 3DO. But it's a testing station. Meaning it's a development unit. It's a prototype slash employee used console to ensure quality control and a bunch of other shit. Extremely rare. I also, if you want to look behind you have a standard 3DO FZ1 model on the floor there. So that's a standard one, they look similar, but the text in, this, in the middle is what gives it away. That does not say testing station. Since we're over here, got my, uh, and yes, Master Chief helmet, and yes, everything has Wu-Tang logos on it. I'm even wearing a Wu shirt. It's all about the Wu, motherfuckers. I like that some people try to make fun of me for that as if it's a bad thing. Like, yeah, you put Wu-Tang stickers all over everything. LOL. I'm like, yeah, bro. What the fuck? But they like it. No, some people try to try to troll me about it. And I'm just like, you guys, you don't understand how this works. Like, that is actually something dope. Anyway. Uh, Fat Body PS3, which your boy Doyle um, graciously fried trying to play Vegas. What was it, Vegas 2? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, Rope I had it. that thing for, I don't know, 15 fucking years. And you fried it with the yellow light. But I will say, I will say, in your defense, which is rare, that's not proper ventilation. I don't even know. That's another thing I get lucky. As you look around the room, you'll notice everything just kind of fits perfectly, and it's always on accident. I never measure stuff. I never do anything. That PS3 is millimeters, millimeters of where it's fitting. The problem is the heat sinks and the vents and shit are on the side, so it got fried like a fucking rotisserie chicken. Got some VHSs over here. I'm not a VHS guy, really, but you know what? Lately, the thrift stores have been hitting. For 50 cents, a dollar, you gotta buy them, bro. They're iconic movies. Oh, look, more Wu-Tang stickers. I love this game, boy. Oh, look, there's another one behind it. Oh. SP-101, you gotta get the 101 model, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy Hilfiger sticker? Yeah, Tommy Hilfiger, that's not a sticker. That's legit. That's super legit. Uh, reorganize, oh, you can show them the catacombs. We reorganized the catacombs recently. French tickler. This is the key to life. People want to know why there's no dust in my room? French tickler, son. Every single day. Every single day. Dedication, bro. You see this? Huh? You understand? French tickler, son. Invest. Do the right thing. You dirty motherfuckers. Now. What else we got in here? Random shit. Oh, why do you got a Mario 3? No, it's not. It's a... Charger, 8-bit charging, shout out to them, they sent me this a long time ago. It's a wireless charger for your phone, if your phone is wirelessly charged. It's pretty dope. Um, oh, damn. You don't see that a lot. Yeah, you reopened that. Yep. Remember that day I tricked you? You brought this over steel and said you got it for a steal on eBay. I said, that's great. They said, hey, bro, you ever try... um? VR from PlayStation? You're like, no. So I put VR on you, and then remember you said when you were wearing the thing, yo, don't open up that. I'm like, what? Open what? What are you talking about? While I had a knife in my hand, you had the VR helmet on, sliced her open. No Damn. sealed games around here. Although, before I show the rest of the catacombs, I do have one other sealed game. Right here. Which one's that? Shaolin style. What else? Wu-Tang, motherfuckers. The reason I have that sealed is I mailed my personal copy 
over to Braquan's kid, and then I went to go rebuy another copy. So a sealed copy with with check this out with get a close up of that a guide. You never see the game guide. For $60 on eBay, buy it now, free shipping. This was a couple few years ago. I got the game guide and a sealed copy of the game. Um, and then was able to get another open copy for next to nothing. That's called Gaming Karma, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the goodness of my heart, I sent Raekwon's kid the game, a PlayStation, a bunch of shit. And because I had to buy another copy, I got rewarded. Don't do shit because of that, but if you do shit out of the kindness of your heart, you're rewarded. What else do we got? People always ask what this is. Now you bought that for me, right, Doyle? The uh, Infinity Gauntlet for yeah. my birthday a long time ago. And then I got the Wu-Tang G-Shock watch and it ended up fitting there. The case that it's in used to be a display for a retail store that used to hold a hard drive. Which is really dope. Um, what else do I got that's dope over here? Uh, people be interested in this, the Hori GameCube controller. So if you guys oh. have a GameCube and it's got the Game Boy Player, this controller obviously plugs into there and lets you enjoy Game Boy games on the GameCube. Of course, we got to talk about them. I mean, there's so much shit. I know I'm bouncing around, but let's talk about it, man. This is my most prized possession, realistically. It's a Maximum Carnage Collector set only sold on QVC in 1994. There's only 5,000 made, 2,500 for Super Nintendo, 2,500 for Genesis. Um, the cool thing about mine, though, is it's complete, it's crispy. I also have the watch, which wasn't included in this, and the cassette tape. The cassette tape was sent to me by a follower. Um, I wish I still knew your name. It was years ago. The, the dude randomly hit me up like a lot of you guys do and just say shit like, Hey, I know that you're a huge Carnage fan and this would be incredible in your collection if you want to just pay shipping it's yours and i love when you guys like i have a lot of things in this room that are from people that send me shit and uh i really appreciate that because it is going to a good home and i mean it's just amazing it's just amazing that people would do that so that's dope um yeah it's awesome now i have maximum carnage on genesis which is the one i play it's all right people argue back and forth what's the better version i don't really give a fuck i grew up playing the genesis version and uh, it stays up on the wall, the box does, but uh, we can show them some fighters. Before we get to the fighters, we might as well go Halo system, right? No. Cool thing about this one though, I got the Halo controller that came with it. This one says Halo, it does not say Xbox. If you're a collector of controllers, a lot of people know that that one is a lot harder to find, that it says Halo, not Xbox. As we go up, we got my boy Dr. Doom. And, you know, fighters are my passion, aside from Gran Turismo, Metal Gear Solid, and fighting games. That's my main shit in, in gaming. So, Dr. Doom, we got Ryu or Ryu. Said both of them, so that way no one can fuck with me. Gambit. Old school Gambit, too. This is from the Street Fighter V Collector's Edition, I believe. This is kind of old. I've had it for a while. But as you pan up, classics. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, vinyl record, mixtape release. I think there's only, what was it, 200 made, 100 made, something like that. And then, uh, as you get to the top, that that up there is a 3D art from, um, what's the name of that company? You remember Doyle? I forget. I made that Marvel vs. Capcom art for me. Oh. Beautiful. It's really cool. Uh, 8-Bit Boutique, I think, is the name of their, their page. Which is pretty dope. What else we got? Oh, Metal Gear Solid shit. I was just talking about Metal Gear. So I got the Foxhound Metal Gear Japanese only release GameCube. Complete in box. Boom. And then we got this bad boy. Oh. That's from the same company. This is from Sons of Liberty. This is 8-Bit Boutique, man. 3D fucking art for Metal Gear. I'm always down for that. And then I guess we might as well talk about the most talked about thing, pretty much, the Wu-Tang controller. I think that that's something that, you know, I see a lot of people with them now, or not a lot of people, but I see them pop up. It's like, bro, I've had that thing for so long. Uh, I saw the prices have been going crazy on them. It's actually for the Australian release of um, Shaolin Style, which was called Taste the Pain. Kind of weird. I don't really understand that, but I'm You're with pain. it. Um, 
So we got NES games if you want to pan through a couple NES titles. I'm super meticulous about my NES games. Like the quality of the labels, you know, I'm like I'm like pretty nuts about it. Every single one of these, the labels are 9.5 out of 10 or 10s. Like I don't fuck around. I've passed up many games in my life for fucked up labels. Some games are more prone to labels being fucked up. Mega Man X3 being one of them. There's always seemed to be some wear on the top there. Same thing with Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. But these are all classics, man. And yeah, you can play all these things for free now, but you know what? There's nothing like putting the legit cart in the legit system. And we'll do a real, we'll do a real room tour one day. We're just chilling at the crib today, so. Well, I'm just kind of going through some of the highlights of the room. You guys, you guys know what's there. You know, you know the vibe. You know the fucking vibe. Get a bod. <laughs> I was just testing out the fucking Neo Geo X stick. It ain't supposed to work with the fucking PlayStation 3. I can already see the problem though, it's got four buttons. Expert. I don't know how this is gonna end up. Properly You're gonna shoot. do it? Let's go. I've never. I, how is this gonna work? It kind of works. Oh, so that's switch with that. Jugs. Let's go, Chugs. Yeah, you can't do anything because you're missing too much. Also, not the optimal way to play this game. Fuck. All right, so we figured out that that doesn't work. Playing the switch. Yeah, I'm playing the Switch for all the people out there. There it is. Yeah. You're not button mashing, at least. I wasn't button mashing the first time I played it. It doesn't matter. Saved us the trouble of getting rid of him ourselves. I hate this, man. Why did he betray us? Who knows? There are bad Mario 64 is definitely better. With. Nothing they do I mean, all they did was the steal promise. the game. I'll have his background it's all glitched checked, out. Just in case. Yeah, you're doing a good day. I had a good day today. We fucking vlogged. Everything was cool. Can't discount the possibility. Oh, bro, I'm done. Especially what? That's it? I'm trying to enjoy Metal Gear. You're coming here with this yes. bullshit. Get out of here. I'm done. The man in the it's over. Suit.